لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ثم أما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله my dear brothers and sisters connection with Allah سبحانه وتعالى over something I thought about yesterday and I kept thinking about it reflecting about it and I want you to do the same خطر في بالي البارحة واليوم تفكرت في أمر وأريدك أن تتفكر في نفس الأمر إن شاء الله You know the blessings of Allah سبحانه وتعالى are so many enumerate you can't really count them Allah سبحانه وتعالى said clearly وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله whatever نعمة whatever blessing you have it is from Allah سبحانه وتعالى this is in سورة النحل the chapter of the bee then you know the rule if you thank if you're grateful if you show gratefulness which means you confess that the blessing is from Allah you confess that in your heart you don't attribute it to yourself even though you did work but the guidance and the ability and the support is from Allah so you confess it you say it by the tongue you say alhamdulillah for his blessing and you use it for what he subhanahu wa ta'ala advise you to use it I'm talking to you right now because I just did an eye surgery for the second eye and I was thinking about what I was thinking yesterday they all come together it's the perfect time to really share it with you what I was thinking about is the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but I want to present it to you and show you how I was thinking and very few of us think that way so rule number one for the blessings if you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it for whatever blessing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep it for you will give you more of it or bless it and if you don't you are a danger of losing it or not blessing it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned few of these ni'am the one that is people relate to all the time in his saying وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفْئِدًا قَلِيلًا مَا تَشْكُرُونَ he said that he had given you the hearing, 
the seeing and the brain or the hearts very related brain thinks and decides heart executes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he had given you the hearing the seeing and the brain very few of you show gratitude are you from those few do you really thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that he only mentioned the eyes the ears and the brain and there are billions of blessings so when you say billions of blessings then we remember one thing what is it we remember that we don't really appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way he deserves what was I thinking about is if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now comes to you and says okay today I'm going to keep for you only the blessings that you thanked me for that's it you be honest with yourself how many and what are they the blessings that you will keep I know myself you know yourself لو أن الله سبحانه وتعالى قال لك اليوم سأخذ منك كل النعم إلا النعم التي شكرتني عليها كم من هذه النعم سيبقى لك والله وانا I thought about it it scared me really scared me many of us lose ni'am they don't think much about it but when they lose it they start thinking about it and they start seeing the importance of it and they start thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but intelligent people prepare for that before it happens because if you prepare for it before it happens, if it happened, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring it back to you. Because he will test you. And the proof to that is Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. Who doesn't know the story of Prophet Yunus alayhi salam? Qissat Yunus alayhi salam. Hiya akbar dalil ala hadihi ni'am. إن شكرت الله سبحانه وتعالى عليها قبل أن تفقدها ثم فقدتها ودعوت الله سبحانه وتعالى أجابك سبحانه وتعالى وأعاد النعمة عليك. So that's the advantage. Look what happened. Prophet Yunus عليه السلام left his people because he saw no fruit in them accepting his da'wah. He was a messenger. The end of the story, he was thrown in the sea. The fish swallowed him. He called upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while he was in the stomach of the fish in the bottom of the ocean. What did he say? He praised him and confessed his sin because he left without permission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thinking maybe there is no need to have a permission or he is of such a close relation and loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he's not gonna account him for it 
But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accounts. So don't ever rely on your goodness and expect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to account you or punish you when you sin. So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala planned for him. He was thrown in the sea, he was swallowed by the fish, he was in the darkness of the stomach of the fish, in the bottom of the ocean. It's extremely scary, dreadful, but he is used to always to be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said, La ilaha illa ant. Subhanak. No deity worthy of worship except you. Look how important Tawheed is. Subhanak. Glory be to you. How perfect you are. Inni kuntu min al-zalimin. I was a wrongdoer. I did what I shouldn't do. He praised him. He said the word that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only loves, but he created this universe for, which is la ilaha illallah, the heaviest ever in the scales, the day of judgment. He glorified Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how pure, how good, how perfect you are. That's how you do when you make supplication. You make dua. You ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he said, indeed I was wrong. So then he confessed his sin. Look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said فَلَوْنَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُسَبِّحِينَ فَلَوْنَا سبحين للبث في بطنه إلى يوم يبعثون عندما التقمه الحوت وكان في ظلمات بطن الحوت وظلمات البحر تذكر الله سبحانه وتعالى لأنه كان دائم الاتصال بالله سبحانه وتعالى فحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى ونزه الله سبحانه وتعالى ثم اعترف بذنبه والله سبحانه وتعالى قال لولا أنه كان من هؤلاء الذين يسبحون في أوقات السراء وليس في الضراء فقط للبث في بطنه إلى يوم يبعثون ولكنه كان ففرج عنه سبحانه وتعالى وأعاد إليه النعمة وهي نعمة الدعوة إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى والرسالة بعد ما دعا ولم يؤمن به أحد رجع ودعا فآمن به مئة ألف أو يزيدون. So he made that supplication. What happened? Allah subhanahu wa taala saved him, delivered him from the stomach of the whale, went back to his people, made dawa. The same people who refused him in the beginning, and hundred thousand or more believed in him. So he took the blessing from him, which is the message, the message, he's a messenger. And then because he connected with him and used to be connected with him before, he saved him and gave him the blessing back. That's the point. 